Hey, I'm Jennifer Blanchard. I'm an author and writing coach, and I'm going to tell you about the number one thing that's stopping you from writing your novel. This is part one of a three-part series. This is the number one thing stopping you from writing your novel right now. You might call it a lot of other things. You know, I'm too busy. I don't have the time. I have no idea what I'm doing. My schedule is crazy. My family won't let me write my novel. You can call it anything you want. All of those excuses boil down to one thing, fear. Now, whether it's fear of failing or fear of succeeding, maybe you're afraid that you won't be a good enough writer, or you might just be afraid of getting started because you have no clue what to do. No matter what it is, there's always some sort of fear living below the surface. It's there, you know, holding you back, stopping you from doing the things you want to do. Only if you let it, though. Here's a few things that you should know about fear. We all experience it. Every single person who's ever taken on a creative project had a fear of some kind. You're not alone. Fear is part of the creative process. There's no way around it. You're never going to stop it. You're never going to make it go away completely. It's just always going to be there. Unfortunately, that's just a part of it. But at the same time, it's a good thing because when you look at it in this light, you know, if you chase your fears and go after the things that you're afraid of, that's how you know that you really want something if you're really afraid of it. Because if you weren't afraid of it, then you wouldn't want it. So think about that. If you're so afraid of writing a novel, if you have any sort of excuses that stop you from writing a novel, it could just be that this is something you want very, very badly. So you should think about that. Now, fear is only going to stop you if you let it. You can find ways to rise above fear so that it doesn't bother you as much and so that you can finally start doing the creative work that you're meant to do in this world. I have two fear-busting exercises that I wanted to share with you. These are ones that I personally use to help me deal with, you know, the fears that I feel around the creative work that I do. Um, the first one is called Fears Are False, and the second is Flip to Fear. So fears are false. Grab a piece of paper, divide it into two columns. At the top of the column on the left, write what I'm afraid of. And at the top of the column on the right, write why it's false. So now go down the first column and write whatever it is that you're afraid of when it comes to your writing or to writing your novel. You can use this for other things as well. Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to focus on writing. So, you know, make a list of everything that you're afraid of. Then in the second column, I want you to go back and basically negate these and show why this fear is false. So present some kind of evidence or a fact or a statement of some kind that proves that this fear can't possibly be true. And I'm going to give you an example. So in the what I'm afraid of column, you might have, I'm afraid that I'm not a good enough writer to write an entire novel. So then in the second column, you would make this false by saying, I've written lots of short stories, so writing a novel is really just writing a long short story. You know, and, and writing is writing. I can always go back and fix it later. I can hire an editor, and I can make it good enough. Boom, fear gone. That fear has been replaced by something positive and by something that proves that there's no way that fear could be true. If it can't be true, then there's nothing to be afraid of, right? So this, you can do this exercise whenever you're feeling really overwhelmed by fears or if you're trying to start or finish a creative project and you feel fears coming up to stop you. Another word for fears you might have heard is resistance. And um, Stephen Pressfield is the one who really brought that term to the forefront. And he talks about resistance being this fear inside that guides us, that tells us you know, what it is that's really important to us. And that if you feel resistance around creative work, it's because it's meaningful and something you should be doing. And that's why you're feeling, you know, feeling afraid of it. Second exercise is flip the fear. So anytime you have a negative or fearful thought come up, just stop yourself. And then flip the switch. So immediately say the opposite of the negative thought. So for example, if you have the fearful thought, I'll never write my novel. I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to make it happen. So then you stop, you know, take a deep breath and just tell yourself the opposite. So I'm going to start working on my novel right now. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write the first 50 words. You know, whatever it is. Flip that thought on its head. You can do this exercise throughout the day whenever you feel negative or fearful thoughts popping up. And it will really start to help you to hone in on, you know, just thinking positive and to not playing into the fear. 
the more you start to train yourself to deal with your fears head on, the better you're going to get at feeling the fear and doing it anyway, which means, you know, yeah, I'm afraid, but I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to write this damn novel. I'm going to make it happen because the fear is not going to stop me from putting this story out into the world. And then nothing can stop you. Except for maybe two other things that could be getting in the way of you writing your novel. We'll tackle those next. Just so you know, the idea to draft story intensive can help you overcome your fears and finally turn your story idea into a novel. To learn more about it, visit tinyurl.com slash idea to draft and you can download a copy of the program guide which will give you all the information you need to know to see if this is the right program for you. And if you're ready to sign up, just go to jenniferblanchard.net slash idea to draft.